Now, a little earlier, we brought you some live visuals from Harambe House uh, in Nairobi, where Acting Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi was delivering a press briefing. That briefing has just wrapped up. We're now joined by CGTN's Valdi Karotha uh, for the latest on that. Valdi, just take us through what uh, Fred Matiangi addressed uh, in that press briefing as far as the security situation in the country is concerned. The Acting Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi telling Jern this here at Harambe House uh, that the protests we've seen are, are a result of criminal elements. He said these are not peaceful protesters and denied that police used live ammunition on the protesters overnight. He says he has no evidence and no evidence exists that these protests were pre-planned. Um, he's saying if people feel displeasure, they have a right to protest, but can only do so after they have received permission from the government in order to hold a peaceful protest. But people who break into shops, who burn buses um, and try and loot are not peaceful protesters, other criminal elements. And indeed, Valdi, we also heard him you know, try and, uh, and encourage peaceful responses, as you mentioned, uh, to the election results. But it seems that some might not heed that call. What then will the, uh, the, the ministry do with regards to ensuring that these situations, these protests, do not escalate into further uh, violence? Certainly, Lindy, and that is a question I asked um, the Interior Cabinet Secretary, just what they will do to quell these protests. He says um, police force will, um, will be determined um, by the kind of measures used by the protesters. So if they come at them um, in a dangerous manner, police will respond accordingly. He says at the moment there are no other plans to increase the security presence in some of the hotspots identified by the Electoral Commission um, before the elections. They'll basically be carrying on with those deployments um, until what he's termed these criminal elements have been brought back under control. All right, thank you very much. Valdi Carlson outside Harambe House here in Nairobi. Of course, that's following the press briefing from Fred Matiangi, the interior, acting Interior Cabinet Secretary, saying that the police are prepared to respond accordingly to protests in the city.